with the years, the Northwestern Railway has ever been growing as an operating steam railway with a proof of this attraction of the northeastern region of the United Kingdom. Lots of people of the mainland and the world still come every day to travel behind amazing steam engines that make up their day roster, from tank engines to tender engines. Former Plymouth Railway 440 Edward the Blue Engine, London Midland and Scottish Railway 460 Henry the Big Green Engine, and London Northeastern Railway 462 Gordon the Express Engine. Two former Lancashire and Yorkshire Railways 260 James and Winston the Red Engines, Great Northern Railway 442 Alice the Atlantic Engine, London Midland and Scottish Railway 280 Peter the Heavy Goods Engine, and former Great Northern Railway 422 Emily the Sterling Single. Along with London Brighton and South Coast Railway 060 Thomas and Timothy the Tank Engines, Great Western Railway 040 Percy the Little Green Engine, former London Northeastern Railway 060 Tubi the Tram Engine, and former London Southwestern Railway 044 Lily the Side Tank Engine, Great Western Railway's 060 Dog the Great Western Engine, and 042 Oliver the Little Western Engine, and two former Caledonia Railway's 060 Don and Douglas the Scottish Twins. Along with express, suburban and branch line coaches and even freight cars, the Northwestern Railway is occupied with more than enough engines and rolling stock to handle just about anything. If you go to the yards near the engine sheds, you will find an interesting railway equipment. Apart from some vintage rolling stock, cranes and a works coach, including snow plows, and some coaches belong to engines in the works, newest engines are with their tone of restoration. If you look hard enough to the engines, you will find an interesting looking class, a Mix A1, which eight of these are still existing. These engines were known as A1s after the Grizzly Pacifics were renamed as A3s. These Mix A1s were built by Don Custom Works between 1919 to 1922. Sir Nigel Grizzly had the idea of an engine not only for passengers and freight work, but also for express duties. An experimental class of engine using the A3 Grizzly Pacifics across the Atlantic Sea once by the Great Northern Railway. At the first one, Royal Halliburton Works on September 31, 1919, with a real arrangement of 460 wheels, and that engine was Henry, painted in the traditional grey note of green and with the letters GNR on its tender. The others came with the same wheel arrangement as him, while the last ones came with a wheel arrangement of 462s, and they worked amazingly for the next few years. By June 1921, Henry was given his new number 3, an assistant of only express trains for London. Unlike other express engines, apart from bowling coaches, he enjoyed taking goods. And his siblings had to admit it that he was an example to all engines. In 1922, Henry was bought by the Northwestern Railway Basset Berger Top of Hat to run goods trains and passenger trains, and assistant to become the new express engine for the one no western. After a long journey from London, he finally crossed the Burkestown Bridge and made the last few miles to his new home. After a test run the day after he arrived, Henry sets to work on his new duty as a passenger engine, running the express from Navford on the west coast to Bickerstown on the east side of the island. On 
its journey to Vickerstown, he passed Ellsbridge Junction. Now, on its way back, he passed through Crosby. However, Henry, as a well-running engine, was short-lived. The following six months, the crew have found it difficult to build up steam properly. It turns out that the Atlantic class that was used to build Henry has a small firebox, and combined with the A3, it makes it difficult for Henry to make steam. The new design of the Atlantics back then have a more bigger firebox, and that's the reason why the others of his class didn't fail after almost three years of service. He can pull trains well, true, but sometimes he loses train due to the lack of steam. So he was taken off from the express service and put on goods and passenger duties. At the fact director purchased two LNR engines, a B-12 for the express and a B-17 to help with Henry's trains. This continued for the next seven years. After a new LNR A3, Gordon arrived to become the new express engine. But the fact director didn't give up and decided to take action. After a short trip in Henry's cab, seeing his performance and found that the coal was the problem, he decided to give him Welsh coal. And the result was like they waited for. Henry built up steam properly and there was no problem over the upcoming years. until one morning around 6.12 a.m. In the spring of winter of 1938, Henry crashed at the back of a goods train. The points were frozen and the wake of the snow caused the signal went down and he was sent to crew for a new rebuild and by July 1st 1939 Henry came out of the works from a mixed up engine as a newly classed engine an LMS Black 5 that we know him today and that's how the first of the class mix A1 stopped being existent forever the others 80 remains were still working for the LNR and by 1946, a nationalization began and they became property of British Railways. But when the modernization took shape in the 1960s, the railway board decided to withdraw the famous Mix A1s from the service. Since they hear that the first of the class was a failure, they concluded that the others were failures as well. If it wasn't true, and by 1965, the famous mixed A1s were withdrawn from service. And even for not build more of these engines, they destroyed all the draws and designs of the mixed A1s. But thankfully, no longer they have been withdrawn, so Richard Topper Hat, also known as Sir Topper Hat 3, saw potential on these engines and with the help of Henry he brought his old siblings to their new home.
nowadays, these agents are still working older, working for the Northwestern Railway and making demonstrations for people to watch their performance, and also making trips to the mainland and back. It was a big shame for these engines to think that their first of the class was a failure, and also after rebuild, making a very different engine. But they were happy to reunite it with Henry, having a new home, and to show to the people a class of engines like them, seeing back to the eyes of the public. But even to this day, people were still asking, who was the first of the class? What happened to him? The he is still existing? This is always answered by the fact controller himself, the ages, and even Henry. Even so, it's a bit too hard to believe, it's very true. For those who have seen these engines work in order and Henry along, they will always be remembered as the LNER Mix A1s, the unique class of engine of all history.